All right, so this video is kind of pertaining to a video that I made on my main channel on the split screen slash joypad mod. So this will allow you to change your PlayStation 3 controller into an Xbox 360 controller. And as I said in that video, this process can be very uh, glitchy, buggy, whatever you want to call it. it there, there you can encounter some problems. So that's why I'm making it over here so that if there are a lot of problems that people are consistently having, I can go ahead and just re-upload the video explaining how to fix that problem here instead of having to re-upload, uh, you know, take that entire video down, re-upload it constantly. So anyways, that is why I'm doing it this way. So first off, what we need to do is download Motion Joy, which is a program that uh, this, that's the program we're going to use. A lot of people don't like using this program. However, I have not had any real problems with it. The problems I've had, uh, I've been able to fix, and I, I'll show you, tell you guys how to fix that problem that I've had. Uh, but anyway, so go ahead and download it. I just downloaded the latest one here, so go ahead and click it. It'll go ahead and automatically download this file here. You can extract the files and just run that application inside here, and it'll go ahead and install it for you. And then you should get this little icon, the DS3 tool icon. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually open it up. All right, so go ahead and double click it. All right, now minimize it. So we're going to probably want to actually have this open while we go ahead and install the the actual drivers for our PlayStation 3 controller. All right, so grab your PlayStation 3 controller now. Sorry, I had just dropped the actual cord. So anyways, grab your PlayStation 3 controller and go ahead and actually plug it in now. So plug it in, you know, with the charger cord that you use to charge it with. Just plug it in right now and into your computer. All right, you'll go ahead and get an installing device driver software. We can go ahead and click it. Now, after this actually goes up, there actually might be some other things that pop up on the screen uh, that it's installing. It may only install this for you guys, so you, it might just simply be different, simply because I've installed this so many different times, and I have I think I've uninstalled the driver, so it may look the same, it may not, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, so you guys go ahead and pause the video too, and then it'll go ahead and, um, you know, replay it as soon as you're done installing the driver software for your PlayStation controller. All right, after your device is ready to use, and you may have only a couple things here. I have a lot simply, as I said, I've already run this before, so that's that might be why I have so much stuff here. Um, but you may only have a couple, and that is fine if you only have a couple. So go ahead and close out of it as long as it says your device is ready to use. All right, go ahead and open up Motion Joy now. All right, it may say wait for controllers to be connected, and there, there could be nothing here just like it's for me. You know, that's fine. Go to Driver Manager now. All right, you should have a driver here, and if you don't, try exiting, closing out of this, or reloading the page, and you know it should show up. All right, go ahead and click this checkbox right here, and if there's multiple ones here, go ahead and install all of them. All right, go ahead to load driver. All right, click that little tab there, and I'll go ahead and load the driver. Also, on the profiles, make sure it's also set to the. Um, there it goes, it has successfully installed it, and you know, make sure your profile is set to X input also the Xbox 360 controller emulator. If we go here, um, it should actually have your um, controllers actually should be downloading stuff right now, and as I said, it could just say that for me because I've already done this that it hasn't, but in the past, I also also had also, you know, stuff here downloading. I don't know why I said also so much times, but if you don't have anything um, loading up there, unplug your controller again and re-plug it in, and there we go. It's that is what you do. So unplug your controller after you're done with this and replug it in and it'll go ahead and load everything up. All right, so now after your you know your device has loaded up all those drivers fine and you should have all the ready to use here, go ahead and close out of it. Now, even if you reload the page, you may it may still say wait for controllers to connect. And if it does, exit out of this, restart your computer. All right, restarting your computer will go ahead and then have it show up as your controller. So I'll see you guys. All right, so now that I have restarted my computer, as you see here, now it shows up that it has, you know, it, it's connected. All right, the, you may have some driver software here. This has been going on for a couple minutes now. So I'm just going to leave it run, see if it installs. Um, but yeah, that's what it will should pop up possibly pop up. This might pop up. I don't know There's a lot of different things that can happen with this program, you know that I've I've noticed but anyways uh, Once you have it, you know set up here. Um, you may have to click enable here after you click mm -hmm. enable Yeah, we just hit enable and some more stuff popped up. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, just kind of test it out you can hit vibration testing and then You guys heard that um, but anyway, so yeah now it should be uh ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start up Minecraft now. Now you may have to wait for this to all to load up. So just wait for that this all to go through before you load up Minecraft and try to play the mod. Um, but yeah, 
should work now uh, as far as it should show up now as an Xbox 360 controller. It should work as an Xbox 360 controller. All right, now that Minecraft is loaded up, uh, here I'm playing with the controller here just to show you that this does work. And as I said, you can, you guys might have problems with it. So that's why I wanted to actually do a, a separate video over here so that I can just, you know, take it down, re-upload it, and change the link over there. So that's it's a lot simpler than taking that entire video down. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Uh, that is what you do to uh, to get the cold controller thing working. And uh, if I find a better way to do this, I'm definitely going to remake this video. But anyway, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.